Hey queens, how are you guys? We're back with another tutorial. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you come on in. We are the queens over here. We like to call each other queens and we are fabulous over here. So yes, welcome on in. Today we're going to get into this recreation of a look I did about three years ago. I wanted to recreate it because it's been on my to-do list for some time now. So I finally got a chance to recreate this emerald green eyeshadow look. I really love it. I feel like this is a really cute date night out on the town with your man, you know, real sexy, real sultry, smoky, all that jazz. So I wanted to recreate this look for you queens. And if you want to see how I got this look, how I created it, you know what to do queens stay tuned all right queens so i've already done my brows off camera i used my anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in the shade chocolate and i applied it with my angled brush and i concealed underneath my eyebrows now we're going to move on to concealing our eyelids i'm going to use the same concealer i used to conceal my eyebrows and this is the color pop 145 medium dark 145 w medium dark concealer so now i'm just blending it out okay now that we have that completely blended out we're going to go ahead and move along to eyeshadow i'm going to take my morphe 39a palette And I'm going to take this dark brown shade right here at the bottom. And this is my Morphe E14 brush. And I'm going to just pat it onto my lid like so. And I'm going to take it all the way up right before we get to the crease of our eyelids. Now I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette and I'm going to take the, the color Saturn right here and I'm going to pop it right above that first color. Now we're going to go back with that first shade we put down and just pick up that color a little bit more. It kind of went away after we put down that second color. So I'm just taking that first color and I'm patting it onto the lid. I'm going back with no product on my brush and I'm just blending in between those colors. Okay, now we're going to take a black from this morphe palette it's right here down at the bottom right there and i'm gonna put it on the outer and the inner corner of my eyelids i'm using my morphe m505 brush i'm put it on the outer corner Now I'm going to go back with my Morphe M513 brush and I'm going to blend around those colors in the crease. Add a little bit more black. Okay, now I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Primer and I'm going to use it as a base for my lid shadow. With my MAC 239 brush, it's an eyeshadow brush, I'm going to place it in the center of my eyelid. And then I'm going to take Throne from the Prism Palette. And I'm going to place it right on top
Okay, now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. This brush right here, it's from the Andrea and Renee, Andrea Renee Times Peach Pearl Palette. And I'm going to pop it, that black, into the inner corner. And the outer corner. Alright, now we're going to move along to our face. First things we're going to do is moisturize first. Okay, now I'm going to apply my foundation. This is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. It is the bomb.com. When I tell you that it's full coverage, lightweight, and it's inexpensive, like, you can't get any better than this. Like, sis, go find your shade. For sure. Okay, so now I'm just tapping it in with a beauty blender. I got this beauty blender on Amazon for like seven bucks for a, a pack of five. Really good beauty blender. So now I'm just patting that into my skin like so. I've been wanting to recreate this look for a while now. I don't know why I'm just now getting around to doing it. It's so regal. Like, I love it. I love green. Green is my favorite color. Any shade of green, I pretty much love. Except for, like, neon green. I really can't get jiggy with neon green. Like, I don't know why. But we're just going to pat that into our skin like so. I am really loving this unit, guys. Like, if you hadn't seen me in several different looks with this wig, please go follow me now at uh, on Instagram at underscore I am Malika. Don't forget to follow me. I will leave my handle in the description box so that you can go see the looks I've created in this unit. I did a Instagram sweep of like ghost followers and bot accounts not too long ago, a few days ago, maybe almost a week ago, I did a sweep of my Instagram. I had over like 6,000, in my opinion, ghost followers and bot accounts that I got rid of. So now I'm down to 1,000, which I love. I feel like I, I'm actually talking to and interacting with real people so I got rid of all of the bot accounts so follow me interact with me I love talking to my queens and my kings on my Instagram page I'm trying to be more active on there creating more content reels and things of that nature so yeah follow me on IG make sure you're interacting with me talking to me chit chatting I love that so yeah, alright, now that we are pretty much done buffing this foundation into our skin, see sis, see queen, I'm telling you, this foundation is amazing, and it was only like, no more than $8, I think, it's by Maybelline. Now we're going to conceal, I'm going to use my ColourPop concealer, the one I used on my brows, in the shade 145W. I'm going to place that underneath my eyes. dry down for a bit and then we're going to blend it out with our beauty blender
I feel like face is my favorite part of my foundation routine, definitely. It used to be eyes, but now I feel like face is my favorite part of makeup. All right, now we're gonna contour. I'm gonna use my Black Radiance Foundation Stick. It's in the shade Espresso. I like to use this to contour with because, yeah, it's amazing. This is the only thing I use to contour my face with. And it's awesome. Okay, I'm going to take my MAC Dome Brush. I don't know what number this is, but it's like a dome brush. And I'm just going to go in circular motion in that area where the product is. Pat, pat, pat. And forehead. And then for the nose, I'm going to take my Morphe M524 brush. I'm going to blend it up and down. Make sure you're getting into, inside of the eye a little bit so that it can naturally fade into your nose. Okay, now I'm going to take some setting powder. This is by Morphe. And I'm going to set my under eyes in pretty much everywhere I concealed. Now I'm going to go back with my Morphe bronzer. This is Trailblazer. I am so happy that I invested in this bronzer because it is Amaze balls, like amaze balls. A little bit goes a long way. Okay, I'm going to test away this powder. Okay, now we're going to add some blush to this look. I'm going to be taking my burnt pepper blush from MAC. Cheeks, add some color to the face. Okay, before I do my lashes and mascara, I like to spray my face with my setting spray. And this is by Morphe. It's the Illuminator one. A luminous setting spray. And now we're going to highlight. Okay, I'm going to highlight using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter Times Amarezzi. This is my favorite highlighter ever. Okay, now I'm going to add some mascara. And then to the inner corners, I'm going to add a little color as well to my tear ducts. If I can find my freaking brush, there you go. Alright, so I'm going to add the gold from the Prism Palette to my tear duct. This is my go-to lip. I'm going to be using Chestnut Lip Liner by MAC. And I'm going to kind of overline the top.
And then I'm going to take my nude lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I'm going to take my Fantasia Gloss by ColourPop. Okay, now we're going to put on our lashes. These are by the Luxury Club and it's in the, in the box, the container, um, Money Long. That is the lash set that it's in and it's in the bottom, it's on the bottom right side of that set specifically. So I'm going to place these on my eyelids. My eyes want to start running, queen, and just running the mood. Like, why are you running? What is the issue today? I never have a problem with, like, my eyes personally running at, until, like, every now and again. Every now and again, they want to act uh, all right queen I think they're on sis I think they're 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 secure you know I think they're safe and secure all right queen so I think that pretty much sums up this look we're gonna do a one two three four in a sec 